Let's stay off. This is the weekly love reading for the period of today, December 27th through January 2nd. And then I'll be back next Sunday. So I'm starting with yes, party, and dirty moving. Spirit still says party. Try again. This could be a relationship that's trying again, or maybe like an attempt to reach somebody. You're encouraged to try again. Weekend away. And I also will try again. And it's 50 50. Could go either way. Or some balance may be needed in a situation. Could be about give and take also. And, you know, two people both putting some effort in and trying. All right, so with the cards, we're beginning with the Ten of Cups. If you didn't see my general reading, these are my, some new cards that my daughter bought me for Christmas, my youngest daughter. Um, so normally I would be using the right away. They have like right away type images, but they are like holographic. Isn't that cool? So we're starting with the Ten of Cups, which is a card that in terms of love can talk about like you're afraid of... Um, you know, something being wrong in your relationship or for your single, something being wrong with you or your ability to attract people. And it shows up to say like, everything's fine. So if you are in a relationship, not to be worried that, you know, you, that the other person is unhappy or they think something's going to go wrong or that something is wrong or, you know, whatever, like everything is fine. Even if there's distance or separation or something right now and things may appear, um, to you to be not as they should be or as they normally are or whatever the card shows up to confirm that everything's cool so um for some it could be talking about a spiritually based relationship with the hermit showing up behind this card the, it may involve um specifically a virgo hermit can hermit for love can also or specifically is also about rekindling a relationship so you could be wondering if somebody that you had been with, that you're separated from, you broke up from, or you haven't been with for a while, whatever, if they feel the same about you as you feel about them too. Like, do they think about me the way I think about them? And in that case, looking at these two cards together, the answer to that is yes too. And you may have an opportunity to cancel that relationship. If you have been on some kind of break or break up, or there was pain in that relationship, you stopped speaking or whatever, there was hurt, you hurt them, they hurt you, you hurt each other, then this is an opportunity. Try again with this, that this other sword down here. It's like an ace of swords, like an opportunity to try again. After he's getting right now restoration, recovery. Maybe you've gotten it already since that time. And so now the saying, you know, ready to get back. <laughs> Knight of Cups in reverse showed up in the general reading too. And in terms of single people, this is about getting swept off your feet. Sometimes so much so that you may need like some time. You may need the break. You may need the break. You may meet somebody and it just may be such a whirlwind that you say like, whoa, it's, like go it's going too fast. I, I need time to adjust or something. I'm feeling overwhelmed. And then this can be you needing a break after that. Um, otherwise, if you're already in a relationship, Knight of Cups showing up like this in reverse is saying that, you know, one or both people involved may be feeling overwhelmed. And then maybe that's why, again, being somebody is worried about the relationship. You don't need to worry about the relationship. You both just need to like catch your breath and maybe do maybe communicate about something. But everything will be okay. So now we're going to shuffle a little bit here. Who's that? Knight of Pentacles, uh, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, or someone like that to those traits or attributes, maybe, wanting to come and make some sort of offer. Could definitely be a spiritual based relationship, twin flame, soulmate, divine union with the two of wands showing up. It is the twin flame card of the tarot. Ace of Cups, brand new start. So either meeting somebody, a brand new relationship, or again, maybe trying again, rekindling a relationship, reconciling. I'll do one more. And it is the star in reverse. So not as strong as the star upright and maybe getting a wish, but not as extravagantly as you might have otherwise if it had been upright 
or it can be indicative of a delay, like getting a wish, but you know, maybe not tomorrow. It may take a little while, maybe by the end of the week or something, or maybe this week it'll start, but it goes into another week before it's actually manifested or something like that. But definitely, again, um, these two cards. Oh, now the star's upright. So somebody may have been praying for a soulmate, twin flame relationship. Uh, wow. This is kind of like the same thing that happened in the general reading. Um, these cards turning up. So, yeah, somebody may have been praying maybe to reconcile or to meet for the first time, you know, their true love. Tied at the soul. That's their dream, their wish, their prayer. It's being granted. The star is also about communication, where it's not about, you know, successful manifestation and the universe, you know, blessing you with something that you've wanted and trying to manifest for a while. Prayers answered, wishes granted, dreams coming true. Lovers, when it shows up with relation to love, which this is the love reading, is about true love, like real love that's reciprocal and, you know, the the, the adoration is in the respect, all of it is mutual. It's 50-50, like the die. Awesome. All right, let's get the stands. In addition to these cards that we're going to share, this two of wands, the lovers and the star, we're going to pull one for each element, fire, earth, air, and water in that order. Um, and that's the order that they appear in the zodiac as well, of course. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. King of Cups. Upright. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Swords reversed. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, reversed. So it looks like Earth signs are going to have the best week. Maybe because, you know, it's Capricorn season. And like when it's your birthday month, you usually have the best energy. <laughs> so starting with the Two of Wands, it's our overall energy. In addition to what I've already said about it, and what I've already said about the lovers and everything, this sort of doubles down on that because it's saying that if we're already in a relationship, it's about to get a lot more equal. So I already talked about reciprocity and mutual adoration and respect. A lot more of that if we already have it deepening or it's going to begin to exist if we felt like we've been imbalanced before, like it wasn't 50-50 or 100-100. That will come, that will fall into place finally uh, for us. Also, um... You should pay attention about your uh, ideas about equality and um, how you feel maybe about gender norms. If you're for them, you're against them, you know, implementing it into your life, however, you know, you feel about chivalry, all that kind of stuff. Like now's the time to discuss that. Any feelings about balance and, you know, who should be responsible for what and, in what capacity I handle all of this, you handle all of that. It's a good time to talk about those sort of things if your relationship is already, you know, headed that way or in that or in that sort of place, but you never in a um any kind of real way, you know, organized your life. <laughs> this is a, and we're gonna start a new year, right? That falls within this week. So we're we're kind of like preparing for that. We're in, we're gonna enter 2021 the right way. Um if you're single and looking for love, there's somebody that who could be, you know, like really, really perfect for you. Again, similar to the lover. So it's like doubling down on that energy. Um, it's possible that they're already part of your life and that you haven't considered them that way before. You know, you just got to not judge a book by its cover. And I said this about some of the cards in the general reading. A lot of the, you know, similar em energies are showing up here. Um, if somebody's inter interested in you this week... You are guided to give them a chance. And this could really be the relationship that you're looking for, that, you know, you dreamed of, that you just hadn't, you hadn't thought about, you hadn't imagined, but the universe knows what it's doing, you know? So you've got the two of wands showing up and you've got uh, the lovers showing up and you've got the star showing up. And that's like the universe saying, you know, that thing that you keep asking for, that you've been wishing for, here it is. Here it is. 
So moving on to the fire signs specifically, your card is the two of pentacles in reverse. All the twos, um, at least in part, are about relationship and partnership. So that's already a positive. So you guys have got two twos. And this one um, has like a lot of feelings about the earthly and commitment. And if you are already in a current relationship and you may have other earthly matters that like sort of pull you away from that relationship when this card shows up. So like work or um, responsibilities at home, if you don't live together, different things you have to, or maybe because of the pandemic, who knows, like different things you have to take care of, other earthly duties and responsibilities that are preventing you from nurturing yourself potentially and or um, your romantic relationship. So it's important that you, that your partner knows how much you care about them and appreciate them and um, that you express that, you know, and, and maybe take some time out to show them. And if you're not getting that, then you express that to your partner that they need to show you. All right. That's the, that this is the week to do that. And again, it's about us entering, I think, the um, 2021 the right way. If you're single and looking, then similarly, you have to make sure that you're not like fooling yourself about how ready you are for a deep relationship. Meanwhile, you got a, all kinds of other things going on in your life. And, you know, you're trying to make partner down at the firm and all this, and you're focused on work and stuff so that if somebody did come into your life, you're not going to give them the attention, them or the relationship, the attention it deserves or warrants. And, you know, you're focused on somebody, something else. If that's the case, um, but you feel like you really want a relationship, then you may want to use at least the next couple days um, before we enter the new year in figuring out how you can carve out some time for yourself and or somebody else. Um you know, to spend that time with you. If you did meet someone, like, when would you go out? When would you be able to go out with them? You need at least a little bit of time. When would you be able to talk to them on the phone or text or video chat or whatever? That's going to be important if you're going to have any type of real relationship. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like I probably don't even have to explain to you how awesome it is for the King of Cups to have shown up. Um, in your placement, you know, for love and relationship. So he may in fact be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or someone likened to those traits or attributes who's very romantic and um, just a genuine person, very caring, not afraid to show their emotions, very balanced in terms of their own masculine and feminine energies, not worried about, you know, coming off one way or another and, um, you know, not, not afraid to express themselves. Scorpios can be a little bit more secretive than the, than the other two, than the Pisces and the Cancer. Um, they don't always feel like they can open up to everybody, you know, so they may keep some stuff in, but I feel this week with the other cards, you know, particularly our, um, overall energy of the two of wands, but also in consideration of the lovers and the star that that will be different this week. And there will be some communication. And so that's for committed relationships. And that's for those of you who are meeting somebody or trying to start something uh, with somebody that is this type or perhaps a specific, you know, um, a direct water sign as well. Air signs, we got our own energy here um, and it's upside down. So it's like our person may be taking their time to come. There could be a delay in a situation or we could have some like minor arguments and bickering um, going on in our situations that we have that are existing already. Uh, the page in reverse of swords can definitely be about difficulty in communications. And it's really important when he shows up to say what we mean and mean what we say when we are um, dealing or talking with our partner and also to listen uh, and to hear when our partner is talking to us and also to be prepared to read between the lines and to look deeper at any, the, the meanings behind the words. And we are very good at this. Apply it. <laughs> uh, if you're single and looking, then you may find that you're attracted to somebody who like talks a lot of, game um 
who like brags. I, I was trying to look. This card came up actually in the general reading too. Possibly in the same placement. No, it was here. Um, it was in our surrounding energy for everybody. And um, I was looking for the word. Like of this the type of person that just like. They're just trying really hard to like impress you. I still can't think of the word. But the way that they talk might be a lot of big talk. Um, they just, yeah, like they have a lot of game or something. And, and they just they may be laying it on a little thick, um, which we air signs do not like. Um, we do not like it, it. We don't we don't like people trying to like impress us uh, because we're not. As as superficial as we can come off to people who don't understand us. Because we are detached and, and lack um, affect in many ways in terms of emotions and stuff. So we can come off superficial like we have no depth. But that's incorrect. And in fact, you'll find a lot of air signs um, are like not very materialistic at all. We don't care about a bunch of stuff. So it's like this, this business of trying to uh, show off like you can buy us and stuff is a turn off normally. But... Page of Swords showing up in reverse in terms of love is asking you if you're look single and looking to give this person a chance and not, you know, necessarily to judge a book by a cover or a person, you know, trying to act like a big shot um, as an asshole <laughs> and to, um, yeah, to, to give them a chance, give them a try, let, let, you know, second chance, let them try again because it, it's probably just that they're nervous and really, really like you um, and really want to make a good impression. And so they OD. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. Uh, so last but not least, of course, uh, the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your card is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And this is a very, very feminine energy, very, very feminine card. And it it's about home life. This is another card that showed up in the general reading. Um She's really, really about home life and environment more so than anything. And whether or not, whether you're involved with somebody right now or not, what you can do to improve your love life may involve doing something in your home, whether it's rearranging your furniture, um, remodeling, relocating, moving, Cleaning up a different way, trying some feng shui, moving stuff around, um, you know, to better the energy. And if, if you want to get into feng shui, you should actually look look it up because the furniture has to be pointing in a certain way. Um, certain colors and shapes can come into play. Um, but it's really about making like a home base for yourself, someplace where you are comfortable maybe it's not even your home but it, it, it's where you meet your lover so even if you go to a hotel room every wednesday you know you may want to bring some candles or um you know your own oils or things that make you feel like that's your little carved out piece of the universe you know in a place where you just feel at home, even if it isn't your actual home. Um, sometimes this can be about, and I've had this happen with, with friends, clients, all of the above. You know, I'll talk to them about doing some things in their home. And then right after, like when their home is ready and perfect, that's when they'll meet somebody. Actually, I had a, a client, Capricorn. She bought a house and she had been single for like years bought a house, was setting it up. And that's when she met, you know, the, her now husband. Um, also actually an earth sign, a, a Taurus. So it's funny that this queen of um, pentacles is what's here. Um, and he had just bought a house too. So they were both like ready in that sense, both single, no kids and these two homes now uh, to get started. My One of my best friends, period like my one of my girlfriends from high school she had a home already she had been married she got divorced and it was when finally she like cleaned out like all her husband's junk like he'd already moved and 
you know, had his own place or whatever, but she still had stuff belonging to him, like maybe in the closet and all this stuff. As soon as she got rid of all this crap, she met this new guy. So it can be that sort of thing too. Like you're blocking the energy, maybe with some things that you're holding on from your old life. So again, this can be about preparation, moving into 2020, moving into our new phase, a new life, getting rid of old things that are blocking our energy first. Uh, can be what this is about. It's like sort of like grounding yourself um, and it can really attract love into your life sometime. That love that you've been seeking, that real, you know, again, divine union love, twin flame love, soulmate love, reciprocal love, you know, um, mutual, again, respect and adoration and balance and equality and equity and all of that stuff in your relationships. So you just have to get rid of anything that is holding you back in your life. Now I'm going to Further clarify these cards this week with the Ascended Masters deck. And it's kind of weird, but um, yeah, I'll just move to grab these. And I think because it's like Christmas time, the Christmas octaves still. And this week, um, falling into this week is the Feast of the Holy Family and a bunch of things that I went over um, in the general reading. So maybe that's why, but this is another deck that has depictions of Mary and Jesus in it. So I think like that may be why I was guided to pull it. But we're beginning with Osiris, um, who may be an actual Scorpio uh, in your life, like this Scorpion King. And it may not have anything to do with father, brother, husband, son, but more so the a divine masculine coming into your life or maybe even returning, right? Osiris, the God of the living and the dead. But we know that he went uh, to be in the underground and then returned, came back up um, to be with his wife. And um, at that time, she was able to uh, conceive in one of the stories, <laughs> one of the versions. When he came, is that Jesus? Oh, no, St. Francis, follow your heart. Um, Yeah, but he is one of the, was resurrected, you know, so similar to uh, Jesus, or at least as that story goes. So it could be somebody like that, somebody coming back into your life, they could be tied to that Ace of Cups that we saw before. Or, as the card indicates, uh, there may be a relationship with a father, husband, brother, son, or your own inner masculine with which you have to heal uh, either the, the relationship itself or some sort of aspect of the relationship, something is off. Maybe it is imbalanced and unequal, and that's what you want to work on. Um, make it 50-50. And then I'll be the first to teacher, which for me is a very earth energy, like Virgo, kind of hermitish, purification, and white Tara. Maybe um, you know, cleansing, clean slate. New beginning, new year, new year, new me, all that kind of stuff. Crystals, maybe something with which you would like to work this week um, to that end. Moses says, take charge of the situation. I'll do one more. And it is the flow of prosperity and Lakshmi. Cut. Isn't that cool? We started with Osiris and now here we have Isis, balance, career, and home life. So this is very two of pentacles. That's what she's talking about. Like, you know, you got to make time for yourself and your family in addition to work and career. Power of joy in Maitreya. And the next card is in reverse. It is Serapis Bay. So I'm going to pull four cards again. Again, one for each element. Clarifying the two of pentacles in reverse. You are seeing this situation accurately, says Horus. So in terms of you needing to look at your life and feeling where, you know, you and or another person can fit in in terms of um, social life is what you need to look at there. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Detach from drama, says Pallas Athena. King of Cups is not someone who is interested in drama. So, I'm seeing another two here. You guys had those those two of wands before. Um, definitely make sure that there is open communication and avoid any, even like petty or, you know, like minor arguments because they can grow into something else. And she is trying to keep you from, from that. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, fertility and pan. Could be a good week for sexy time. Maybe toward the end of the week, though. Again, we have the Page of Swords in reverse, indicating some sort of uh, delay. So maybe toward the weekend. Maybe maybe like New Year's Eve. I used to like to bring the New Year in that way. I'm telling you guys too much. But yeah, like at midnight, I like used to like to be, you know. Never mind. Um, <laughs> moving on to the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And your card is stay focused, which I think, again, connects very well with this Queen of Pentacles, who is about about focusing on home environment and readying it, sort of nesting and stuff like that. And that's what you guys are going to be doing this weekend. And then further advice for um, each archetype from this deck for the masculine who are watching energy healing says Merlin. So what you need to do in preparation to go into 2021 and for the feminine, take charge of this situation. You may be called to take some sort of initiative, guided to take some sort of initiative in your relationships or in meeting someone or connecting with somebody. Hope you guys have enjoyed this week's love reading. I'll be back with the moon reading, I think, next. Uh, not today, but next. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Namaste. Oh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, all that kind of stuff. If you're um, subscribing, please hit both the subscribe button and the bell button so that hopefully you can get your notifications. I appreciate you watching. Namaste.